Okay, so my first official video since I'm back, cause you know that last one is just me telling you what I'm gonna do. But my first official video back, guess what I created? Okay, I told y'all I was a crafter. I told y'all I'm a project chick. <laughs> so my latest project was, um, I created a china room. Okay, let me tell you why. First of all, I collect dishes. I collect um, napkins, I collect uh, uh, stemware, different things like that. And so, I have so much and it's so it's packed in the garage. And I, I, I love hosting, so you know, I thought, where can I find a space to, um, to that I could use, that I could store them, because they're in the garage and I can't, um, I can't get them, I can't get to it. And it's cause it's all packed away. I don't like that. And especially when I'm in hosting, I don't, I don't like it. And so, what happened was, I saw this video of this girl in her china room, and then at the same time, you know how, as soon as you see something or you type something, uh, Instagram or Facebook, I start showing you stuff, well, that's what happened. So I saw it start showing, so seeing a couple of like butler's pantries, a couple of china rooms, and they were so gorgeous. And I was like, I want one. I want one of those. But I hate, listen, you know I'm a project chick, so I, you know I got projects all around the house, so I don't have any storage. But I found a storage under the stairs. I found something under the stairs. And let me tell you, okay, so this happened. Today is what? Today is Wednesday, so it's been one week. So last Wednesday, my husband um, had to have a minor surgery. And so, but, so when I was out waiting on him, I went over to um, Habitat for Humanity to restore. And so I found what I was looking for. Let me tell you something. So I went over, I, first let me back up and tell you this. When I found the space under the stairs, I went and looked, it was a hot mess. I had to clean it out. That was. Tuesday night. So I've been working on this since last week. So Tuesday night, I cleaned it out under the staircase. It was a hot mess. I have a couple of pictures. I'm gonna try to do it like this. At first it looked like this. Now it looks like this. If it doesn't, I, 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 if I can do it, I will, it will do it. But if it don't, then I just looked crazy and I will show you the results in a minute. <laughs> but anyway, um, so, let me tell you. So I cleaned it out Tuesday. Dropped my husband off Wednesday morning. When looking over at the restore, because what I thought was that I had it in my head that I was gonna go and just get some old lumber that somebody probably didn't want that had used uh, uh, in their home or whatever, remodeling and, or building or whatever, and had some leftovers. So I thought, okay, well I'll just get that. Girl, first of all, I get over there and talk to the man, and he like, girl, have you ever built anything? And I'm like, nope, not really. I mean, I do projects, but I ain't never built no uh, shelving. <laughs> so he was like, girl, bye. But anyway, he showed me some um, cabinets that someone had used in their home. And I guess the lady had extra cabinets because I know one of the things it was, uh, I guess it was uh, built to her home and uh, it was mailed to her home and so it had the address and everything on it I think if y'all send this stuff over to the restore, please take your name and the address off the sub, please Okay, but it was in good hands. It was to me. I threw it away, but next time Y'all need to be okay. Well, y'all need to do that better. But anyway, so um I uh, found um, um The cabinet the man showed me the cabinets. I thought they would fit perfect under the stairs. I bought a few, brought them home, and of course they fit perfect under there. And then, I, so I went back the next day because I was gonna get some more, but I wound up, it was only one left. But he told me, these things go fast because people, builders come in there, remodelers come in there, and they're buying, or people who's working on the house, they come in there and they're getting that stuff. So he's like, you better get it if you want it. And I got like, um, six or seven of them or something but then i should have got more but then uh i went back went back in there got one more but it's okay because it worked out perfect i'm gonna show you what i got anyway i'm gonna give you a tour uh, well anyway let me no 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 let me back up okay so after i got those um i painted well i um i primed them and then i painted i wanted a real fun color i picked orange 
because I just wanted it to be fun. And so, um, it's going to, you got to see this, y'all. Y'all got to see it. It's so cute. It's under the stair storage. It's my china room. Um, I even built my own lighting. Everything. I mean, I built the, I don't want to say I built the cabinets. I keep saying that. But I didn't build it, but I put it together. And I painted them, and I had to paint it two or three times, two or three coats. Because, you know, if you wanted one solid color, and, you know, sometimes you'll go over the stroke one time, and then you, it dries, and it doesn't look a certain way, then you have to go back over it the next evening, the next night. And then I had to paint concrete, because the floor did not have, um any kind of floor like a ceramic or tile or anything it had uh just just the subfloor the concrete and so i said okay well i'll paint that orange too realized that was the process i should have recorded that for another video because painting uh concrete is different from painting walls and cabinets and so i had to um get some acid to clean that up and then um because it was white kind of off white dirty because it was a mess but anyway um clean that off and then I painted it orange so I had to get different paint for that um painted that two or three days all this stuff has been a process so and then after uh I got it all painted put it back in there and mind you I've been doing this this whole time by myself because my husband is laid up he's sick he on the man and so I did all this by myself but anyway so I put it back in there after I painted after uh, it took me about three four days to paint that stuff because I had to paint it two or three times and I played the four two or three times anyway uh got it in there fits perfect looks great uh hung a little um a little um bar for my um linens I love linens and then um brought in most of the dishes child i had to abort the mission in that garage because i was in the garage getting the dishes and trying to get some of my um linens wind up cutting the back of my foot i don't know how just right at that i don't know if it's a vein on right on the back of like your your achilles is or whatever child i had to abort the mission i had to get out of there because listen i thought i was gonna bleed to death in that garage and then my husband he in the bed I was gonna be out there by myself with nobody out there. I was gonna die right there in the garage. So I had I had to go. I had to I had to so I got most of the stuff in there. I'm gonna have to wait till my husband or some of my sons come over and help me with that garage because I had to get the rest of the stuff out of there. It is what it is. I'm not going back in there. Because you should see the the I, that's why I got on footies right now. I don't have on shoes. I have on little uh little house shoes because my foot hurts. It's on the men. It's on the men. But anyway, so um, I got that all together. So now I have to show you my finished product. Okay, y'all ready? Okay, give me just one second and I'm going uh, to put my lighting and stuff over there so I can show y'all what I got. Okay, um, so, and then you know what? I'm gonna, I got a company coming in. My friend came in from um, Nashville. So um, he and his sister are going to come over. And so I'm going to set the table. So I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to. So now I'm gonna have my china room. Out of my china room comes china. So I'm gonna set my table. But anyway, so let me show y'all this first. Okay, y'all ready? I'm so I'm so proud of myself because first of all, I've been doing this my whole uh, my whole self. I've been doing this by myself for a week. And um it came out uh, what I think beautifully. So you tell me what you think. Okay, y'all ready? Dun, 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 dun. This is under the stairs, okay? So, boom. I'm gonna give y'all a tour. Give me just one second. Okay, guys, I just want to show you this first. This is the top of this um, cabinetry. And then this is how I displayed everything. But I'm going to, um, Look how that looks. It's just fabulous. Let me get the light in here and then I'm going to show you a tour. Okay. Okay, first of all, this is my um, linens that I told you I hung. And you know, I like crisp linen, so I ironed mine. And I, you know what? I took boot hangers because I had ordered some from Amazon. I had a lot. So I took boot hangers and to hang up my linens. Isn't that cool? So anyway, um, so I did that and I could only access the white ones because I told you I had to board that mission child. My foot was bleeding so bad. So anyway, I'll get them the rest later when my husband recovers. Anyway, so that's that. And then here, 
it's one of the uh, cabinets, but I put it sideways because I had, um, let me show you. These are some of my dishes, the long ones, and the um, ones that can go, you know, oblong or whatever. Is that oblong? I don't know. Vertical is what I meant to say. But anyway, so that's that on those. So that's one cabinet. And then I have a platter there. And then these in here are my sets. And I have, you know, my Christmas set, my peacock set, oh, so my Christmas set, my peacock set, my monogram set, and these are just two sets. I'm going to buy one more set because you know what? I want some blue and whites. And so I'm going to buy blue and whites. And so that's going to be all my sets. That's just a little cabbage and popcorn set that I have. Some more platters. Then these are all my, let me back this up. Okay, this is going to be a mess, but I'm trying to show y'all. So these are all my chargers and plates and platters. And uh, just cabinetry and things that I needed. So that's just some plates, some white plates that I need to uh, pack there. There's just one left. But anyway, these, I have some vintage teacups. I have like 20 of them that I want to get. But I've been using only two because it's just me and my husband. But anyway, I want to get out the garage again. I have to get it later. My terrine. Oh, when I open this. Let me show y'all this. Open this, and this is all of my like napkins, paper napkins, uh, linen napkins, uh, ring. Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, napkin rings, different things like that. And so, and then here are some of my vases for um, flowers. I'm always trying to make an arrangement. I'm, I'm an amateur, really bad, but I try. But anyway. Uh, and then those are just some little bitty bowls that I have that I use for all kinds of stuff. But anyway. Hi guys. I don't know if you can hear me or see me, but I'm going to um, set the table. We're going to dine al fresco because like I said, this is a lifestyle blog. And, life, and our lifestyle consists of a lot of al fresco dining. So here we go. Let's do it. All right. Bye bye. Hold on one second. the cabbage dishes because we're gonna have pasta and salad and so pasta and um for the bowls and then salad and the other so we'll have pasta and salad but just hold on let me get all my stuff out get the bowls give me just one second y'all okay let me start by um you know I don't know what I thought I was gonna be doing because I thought that um, I was going to be, uh, is this is going to be easy, but it's not. So I'm going to try it. So just, just bear with me, okay? Give me one second. Okay, so this was not a smart idea to be um, recording outside and um, also too, I want to make sure everything was out of my, I got a little pulley a little dolly that I bring the stuff out in and um, I want to make sure everything was out and you know what else happened we you know when I was in showing you the tour when I came out I was thinking what should I do I wind up this is like a, a no 45 minutes later because what I wound up doing was making me some magnolia uh, like swags or um, whatever you call them but anyway um, I love magnolia leaves I love the magnolia uh, tree you know, I'm from Louisiana, so Louisiana Magnolia. So, um, um, it's one of my favorites. So, I thought I'd use that because I'm going to do a lemon, uh, uh, themed, uh, dinner. And so, uh, because the pasta has, uh, lemon and herbs and then, uh, the salad is, uh, going to have some lemon and herbs. Anyway, so I thought I'd do that, uh, that theme. And so... Give me just one second. I'm going to show you how I set everything up. So just bear with me. Okay, guys? All right. 
Anyway, watch me now. Hold on. My plates. Boom. It's only gonna be four of us, so I'm gonna just set them here. So one here, and then this is one. But I, because I'm standing here, I moved the chair. So this is one, this is one. Anyway, um, let's see. Where are the other two? Boom. Boom. Okay, so then, those are the coat. These are the chargers. Very outside. Fabulous. Got them from Pottery Barn. Just white plates. I don't know where I got them. Probably uh, home goods or something. I don't know. So just white plates. And then I'm going to use, of course, like I said, the pasta and the salad. But for me, I like to put it here like it's a little bowl, like it's an enclosed bowl. But anyway, you're going to use your salad and your, um, and your pasta. So that. And you only put dishes out that you're actually going to use. So pasta and salad I'm sorry and then pasta and salad pasta and salad okay that's too many of those anyway and so then of course I have my crisp napkins that I love crisp napkins crisp napkins crisp napkins Boom and boom. And then, let's see. So I have table runners here. And so look how pretty. Look how pretty this is. I don't know what possessed me to believe that this is going to be easy. But anyway. Cha. Anyway. So this is my runner. Hold on. this is so pretty because it's windy I'm gonna go ahead and put something on it really quickly I'm gonna put that bowl that I'm gonna use the salad for put it right on it put some and then I'm going to uh, listen I've had this uh, these these are ranunculus, and I've had them for a whole week, and they've been beautiful, but they're, it's, it's, they're down, child. And I realized that I didn't buy any flowers today, but it's so, because I didn't know they were coming to the last minute, but it's okay, so I just use these. This is fine. This is just fine. And so, boom, boom. And then, this is what I told you I was making, y'all. This is what took me dang on an hour. This is a whole hour later, just so y'all know. So, look at this. Isn't this pretty? It's like a little vine. It's like a magnolia leaf. Love, love, love. I'm going to show y'all some pictures in a minute. Anyway. So, and you know what? That's another video. I should have showed y'all how I made this. I'll come back. If you want me to show you how I made it, let me know. And I'll show you. But anyway... Look at that. So just really pretty. Set this out really nicely. Boom. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Boom, boom. Just one second, y'all. Let me put it on the other side. Child, my ranunculus then had it, girl. Hold on. So I'm gonna put another one down here just to anchor it <clears throat> so they won't move. So 
So I'm doing everything that I did here on the other side. And so, two more that I have here. Hold on. So that, and then I'm going to add lemons, because I told you it was lemon themed. Boom. Boom and boom. And you know what? I was thinking, this is just me thinking now, I'm going to add these lemons, and because I had extra, um, let me see, one, two, three, four. Okay, because I had extra leaves, I thought that I would write. Let me see some extra leaves, y'all. The people's names, who I'm not going to tell you who, so I just put, you know, me and my boo. And then I'll put um, Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> no, I'll put uh, Jack and Jill. I don't know. I'll just put them there so that, uh, because I have not gotten some and some kind of release said that they could be in the video. So anyway, I'll just put just Jack and Jill or something on there. But anyway, um, I thought that I'd do that, but uh, I'll write it on there. So let me let me get the camera so that I can show you what I'm doing. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, guys, you know how I said I was going to write our names, like little name tags? I was going to use one of the magnolia leaves. And so, this is just me writing me. <laughs> okay, so I can show you how I'm doing it. But anyway, this is this is how it's going to look. So, me and my, my babe, and then our guest. So, let me, show, let me finish up, and then I'll show you the fi finishing touch. Okay, guys, so I'm done with my table. Oh, I guess I should look down here. I'm done with my table, and I want you to see it, but let me tell you something right now. The ranunculus, they done had it, child. <laughs> it's time. It's time to throw them away, but that's all I had today, so we're going to have to go with it this evening. Uh, also, too, let me see. Yeah, it's nothing too fancy smancy, but it's very cute. And so, uh, let me show you my results. Hold on just one second. Let me turn this camera around. Okay, guys, this is it. It's what it looks like. Isn't this cute? Okay, so, let me go down. This is my um, pasta. And this is, some, you know, just candlesticks. Some random candlesticks. My, Of course, my magnolia leaves. And then, you know, this is us. And so this is guest number one, if you could see that. You see how that's, no, this is guest number two. But anyway, guest two. And then, so this is it. This is my table set and this is my salad bowl. So I'm gonna put everything in there. But I just want you guys to see, I'm gonna inset some pictures so you guys, so it, so it looks really nice. But anyway, this is it. So that was my tour. Hold on, let me, I'll tell you what. I also want to show you guys a little bit of the scenery. I think that part of our fresco dining is the ambiance. So isn't that fabulous? I love that this is my backyard. Anyway, let me get back to it. Hold on. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Oh, look at me clapping. Thank you. So, <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much for joining me. This is what we do every day. Uh, not every day, but most days, uh, we entertain. And so, um, I'm glad you got a chance to see my, um, my beautiful china room. I'm so proud of myself because I told you my husband is laid up. So I've been doing this all by myself. So I'm proud of myself. Um, secondly, um, I'm, uh, just want you, I'm glad that my china is in one place so that I can get it out. Now, some of it's not china, of course, but still, it's still cute stuff. Anyway, um, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. I'm glad you got a chance to see my table setting. Uh, I'm going to try to take some pictures to insert it and, you know, go from before 
the after child. You know, I can't, I can't, I don't know how to do that. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna take some pictures and put them in the back. So, you guys, um, enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining me. And like I said, I'll just show you guys different stuff every week. And hopefully this will get better. Hopefully my skills will get better. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.